Google I.O.'s president just finished and it kind of disappoints. Samsung and Google to launch a stock Android edition of the Galaxy S4. And HP builds another Android tablet but with an NB twist. I'm Jaime Rivera. And am I the only guy that's kind of disappointed with the whole Google I.O. thing? This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off talking about HP. The company has enjoyed a lot of success with their NVX2, obviously on the Windows 8 turf, and now they've come up with a new Slatebook X2, which is pretty much an Android tablet. It runs stock Android 4.2.2, aside from a Tegra 4 processor that you kind of haven't seen in the market just yet. It's got a lot of bells and whistles, and it does include that NVX2 design with a 10 inch display, and also a stock keyboard included in the package. Now, obviously we still don't have dates or a pricing point, but it's kind of interesting. Let's see if it actually does succeed, because the Slate Book 7 didn't. Now let's continue the rest of the show talking about Google I.O. and the things that we did get at the event. We do get some enhancements to Google Now. We do get a new version of Google Plus. We do get new search services. And we also get a new Hangout feature that also works cross-platform in iOS. Now, beware, this is not really Babel or Babel or whatever they're gonna call that thing. It's not really the new cross-platform uniqueness of one messaging service that combines everything, but it is a step in the right direction. All these services are available now for free, so make sure you you download them. Actually, they're available in iOS first, so just look for them. And let's talk about an interesting twist to Google I.O. that we kind of weren't expecting until last minute. The company just came up with their new streaming service. It's a subscription service that takes a stab at Spotify and Pandora in a sort of a different way. It's kind of better than Pandora, kind of better than Spotify, and it costs pretty much the same amount of money, just $10 a month. You could actually subscribe now, get 30 days for free, and then get a discount going forward of just $2 off, I believe it is. But the point being is that the only problem with this service is it's not really cross-platform, and it's blocked for the United States as well. You can't really get it anywhere else. So you can download it now, give it a try. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Another thing that we did get is Google Play Games, but just listen to this. It's not the Google Playground name that we heard about, and well, it's not a gaming console, it's not a game, it's actually a social network with games, sort of like what we get in Game Center and iOS, but actually better. And the reason why is because you can actually start playing a game like Angry Birds on your Android phone, and it actually saves your progress there, and then you can continue playing that same game on your Android tablet, and your progress will be saved. It's actually very awesome. A lot of enhancements and a lot of features that are included are kind of cool, much better than Game Center, but again, it's a work in progress. So stay tuned for whenever it's available. I believe it should be available soon. And finally, for the bad and good news of the day, well, we didn't get any new version of Android. We didn't get Android 4.3, Android 5.0, or even Nexus hardware, but we still did get something. We got a very expensive $650 Galaxy S4 with an unlocked bootloader, and unlocked everything, and stock Android, and it'll be updated at the same time as the Nexus phones, we hope. At least that's what we're expecting, but obviously this is a $650 phone compared to the Nexus 4 that costs only 300 bucks. So that leads me to the question of the day. Are you disappointed with the fact that Google I.O. didn't bring anything that you were actually expecting, like a new version of Android or, you know, new hardware? In our particular case, we do believe that there is sort of a conspiracy theory here. We do believe that Android and Google are waiting for Apple to have iOS 7 being launched at WWDC and then bring out their guns with whatever Apple brings out, just to make sure that everything is right. But anyways, leave us a comment down below. What do you think is happening? We do believe that there is hardware in the mix. We just believe that Google is going to make their own event because Google I.O. was kind of long on its own. And of course, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on Pocketnow.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.